Hey everybody, my name is Riggs. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> We're doing another one of these whole no cam videos recording audio after the fact. Very uh, old school leafy, I guess is what you would call it. Anyway, how are y'all doing? Uh, I'm making this video, gonna answer some questions. We've hopefully give some good advice for some of you guys. Um, yeah, today's been good. It's been a Wednesday. It's been a good Wednesday for me. It's getting late. I need to hurry up and get this video out. <laughs> All right, so um, some of my friends uh, and you guys have been asking commenting about certain things about losing weight Diet, uh, you know workout regimens uh, the challenges, you know me being short and trying to exercise stuff like that um, So we're gonna address some of that stuff today here in this uh, In this video first things first losing weight. Okay, a lot of people want to lose weight. They want to look good for summer uh, if you're looking good for something, you probably want to like tone up a little bit, you know, lose some belly fat, stuff like that. The easiest way to lose weight quickly, in my opinion, what, what's really worked for me and what's worked, a lot of research I've done, hours of stuff like that, years of going to the gym, is, you know, first off, being in a caloric deficit, okay? That means eating less <laughs> and doing cardio more, basically. I mean, it, it seems like a no-brainer, but I mean... You, you can't lose fat, you know, if you're sitting there eating donuts and chocolate milk every morning, as great as that stuff is, and as often as I used to eat donuts every morning in high school, you know, you, you can't keep doing that when you start getting older. Like, I'm 22 now, you know, and before I'd be able to eat burgers every day instead of a six-pack, and now, now I can't, you know, I gotta, I gotta really watch what, you, what I eat. And uh, we'll touch more on, you know, losing weight later on in the video, but uh, I'm focusing more on my diet. Um, usually what I would have in the morning, I wake up at about 11, 11 or 12. I know it's kind of late, but I'm a, I'm a late sleeper. First thing I do, get up, I get two scrambled eggs, usually scrambled. Sometimes I'll have them sunny side up with two pieces of toast. But the reason why I usually get scrambled eggs is because there's almost zero carbs. And you know, it's a good source of protein. Eggs are a great food to start your day. And uh, it gets some food in me. And then also with that, I'll have like a cup about a cup's worth of Greek yogurt. That's about 21 grams of protein plus 16 grams from the eggs. So you're looking at about like 37 grams of protein in your first meal. You know, it fills you up, it's great stuff. Uh, I have that with water or milk, usually water. Um, and two vitamin tablets, you gotta have vitamins guys. So vitamins are something that I lacked for a long time. But I finally got serious about it, you know, when I started this, this uh, cut, this lean cutting program. And um, it feels good, dude. Like, you feel more energetic. You just got some more energy throughout the day, and your body feels nice. But, um, yeah, with almost all of my meals, I just have plain water. And a lot of you guys are like, water? Water is disgusting. It tastes terrible. Like, I understand, man. You drink some tap water, you want to throw up. But you drink some nice, primo, cold water, and it's refreshing. I tell you what. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. But uh, you can have milk, you can even have chocolate milk, you know, but just keep in mind that there's a lot of sugars in milk. So if you have a glass of chocolate milk, you know, that may be the only glass of something sugary or, you know, with hardcore sugar in it that you should be having that day if you're taking it seriously, you know. I mean, everything that you eat and what you do with your body is going to reflect onto your body. So if you're serious about losing weight and getting in shape and all that stuff, you know, you, you really got to be serious about your diet, and that's the absolute hardest thing. Exercising feels good. It becomes addictive. You want to do it after a while. But dieting is, is the hardest thing, is just watching what you eat. Anyway, so that's breakfast. Uh, next thing is lunch. And usually this would be, if it's on a workout day, I usually have about 20, gra or 20, 200 grams of protein on a workout day and 150 on a regular day. So assuming it's a workout day, I'll hit the gym at about 1.30, and on my way home, I'll have a protein shake. It's got about 50 grams of protein in it. Uh, it's really good stuff, and that kind of fills me up a little bit. But uh, then when I get home, you know, after a couple hours, I'll probably have like a sandwich. Usually what I do is I get, a, I make a sandwich, two slices of bread. It's probably the only carb that I have throughout the day. But um, two slices of bread and two different types of deli meat and three slices of cheese. And the reason why I'm very particular about this is because if you put on the normal amount of deli meat, it's about 10 grams of protein. So I double it up and I usually have like chicken, 
and ham. So then that's 20 grams right there, 4 grams of protein from the bread, and each slice of cheese is 5 to 6 grams of protein. So I like the extra cheese because it's delicious, and that's another 15 grams of protein. So you're looking at like 39 grams of protein just in the sandwich alone. And depending, I might have a, you know, a snack in between, you know, some more Greek yogurt. Sometimes I'll eat Greek yogurt, you know, one or two times a day because it's, it's a great supplementing way to add protein and it's a good snack. Uh, it does get old though, so you, know, you want to change it up, maybe add some granola or something, whatever. But uh, Greek yogurt's great. So then between breakfast and the protein shake at lunch and the sandwich, I'm usually at about at about 100 or a little under or over 100 grams of protein. And depending on that, if like I said, if it's a workout day, I'll have another uh, meal, usually chicken, some sort of chicken, chicken tacos, or maybe ground beef tacos, something like that uh, with tortillas, it's something light, very light. I try to avoid tortillas if I had a sandwich. But, uh, you know, just some grilled chicken or something. Something light and good, some green beans. Get some, some food in there, you know, around dinner time. And then, right before bed, I will have another protein shake that I make at home. It's, uh, you know, just a scoop of protein and then a glass of milk, obviously. And what I do is, because I'm cutting down carbs, your body needs energy to burn, especially when you're working out. You need to be able to recover. And carbs are very important for your body. That's why like when you do these things like the keto diet, you don't want to cut out carbs completely, okay? Because your body needs these things. You need your three building blocks, your carbs, your fats, and your proteins, okay? And if you cut out carbs completely, yes, you will get incredibly shredded. You will lose weight, but it is very bad for your brain and for your body, and you can't stay in that kind of state for long term. So if you're doing like a long term cut, just cut down your carbs, okay? Just cut them down. You don't gotta cut them out completely, but just just cut them down, you know? Just start eating less bready stuff like that. Anyway, uh, to add some more fats to my diet to kind of make up for that, uh, which are fats are good for you, by the way. You know, I put two scoops of peanut butter in that shake, and it adds more protein and a lot of calories in peanut butter. So that's kind of how I hit my calorie point uh, at the end of the day my protein shake and I go to sleep you know I drink a bottle of water go to sleep because protein will really dry you out and uh, yeah that's basically a normal workout day if it's not a workout day I don't get that protein shake after the gym and that cuts out about 50 grams and then I got about 150 a day if you're trying to bulk up they say you should get about a gram to a gram and a half of uh, protein a day I tend to go a little over on my workout days because you know my body can use it and I kind of relax a little bit on my rest days so if there's anything extra in my system it gets used up the next day you don't want to keep packing on protein because if you have too much it will literally be converted into other stuff and stored onto your body into either fats or carbs and uh, it's just not productive you know you only need a certain amount so stick within your parameters basically anyway that's my diet uh, my workout regimen I go four days a week Monday is chest and lats. I know it's kind of weird, but it works for me. Uh, Wednesdays is biceps, triceps, and Fridays is shoulders and back. And I always do core and cardio uh, with all that stuff because, like I said, I'm, I'm on a cut. I'm losing weight, so I do about 15, 20 minutes of cardio at the end of my workout when I'm feeling kind of drained, you know, to really burn some calories. And uh, I'm really focusing on core also uh, at the end of a workout right before my run. And uh, it feels good, you know, you're really using a lot of parts of your body. Depending on my workout specifically, uh, I like to start with big compound movements, like on Wednesdays. Uh, I do a lot of uh, standing curls with a, a large barbell, you know, or uh, some tricep stuff, like really compound movements. And then I'll do isolations after. If it's Monday and I'm doing chest, I'll usually do like bench press, dumbbell press, and then I'll do some flies or something, you know isolation like that it's kind of how to get isolation for chest but you know what i'm trying to say stuff like that uh and it works really good because compound movements are a great way to kind of get pre-exhaustion in the muscle you know you're you're using a bunch of different muscle parts and then when your smaller muscle groups are starting to get fatigued you can just focus on the ones you know like a, the bicep the tricep and that kind of stuff without having to worry about your limitations of your smaller muscles holding you back but that's kind of that. Core is a whole nother, nother gambit altogether. If you want to know more about that, I, I could go on another 20 minute spiel about just core exercise and all that. But anyway, we need to move on here. 
Uh, next thing next is the TDEE calculator. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna pull it up because I'm, I'm screen recording right now. That's how I get my best audio, believe it or not. So you go over here to Google TDEE calculator. I spelled it wrong, oh, how embarrassing. All right, now we'll be showing a TDE calculator. And it's very important. This is, if you're getting serious about bodybuilding, losing weight or anything, you need to know these numbers, okay? You need to know these numbers and you need to follow them. So let's see, we're doing Imperial. I am a male. I am 22 years old. Uh, I weigh 134 last I checked. And I'm 5'5". Five five. Uh, this is about how many times you exercise throughout the week. The whole secretary job thing, I don't get... It should be how many times you work out a week, basically. So 3 to 5. And my body fat, I'm... I'm I think I'm around 14%. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm definitely been cutting down. But see, this would be my normal. But how many calories I should be eating if I'm just holding the line, no, flat across the board, the you know, trench, not bulking, not cutting, just being normal. And uh, you see here, it will be um, low carb or high carb, whatever you're uh, you're trying to adjust here. Is maintaining. So if you say you're, you're cutting, right? You're trying to lose weight. Uh, there's more proteins, you know, fats. If you notice the difference here, it is a little less fats, but the amount of carbs is is really low here, and that's because losing carbs is, like I said, the number one way to lose fat quickly. If you want to bulking, boom. Now, see, this is kind of a lot of protein. I would not advise this much. You notice how these two numbers are the exact same, and that's because they have more carbs at the bottom. Because, like I said, carbs are energy that needs to be burned. So if you're bulking, you're doing a lot of big heavy weights, you know, you're really hitting it hard. You need more carbs in your diet, okay? You can't, don't get in this whole mindset, oh, carbs are evil. <laughs> and not have carbs when you're trying to bulk, okay? You need to be, if you're trying to add mass to your body, you need a caloric abundance. You need to be eating more than your body would need to burn normally. Does that make sense? <laughs> Anyway, so let's say you're, you're trying to lose some weight here, you know, just lower your carbs, uh, maybe bump up your protein. That the surefire way to, to keep your muscle mass where it is for the most part and to lose weight. Um, my bench press and everything, I feel like it's been really the same since I've started losing weight. And a lot of people, you know, they worry about losing muscle mass when they work out and, and they're trying to cut. For me, it's worked out pretty good to have extra protein, you know, like this in a diet, as opposed to only 137, you know, just over one per pound. I like to have extra to help keep that mass, keep it there. Um, but I did hurt my shoulder a couple weeks back, so it's been hard for me to kind of gauge exactly where I am on bench press and big heavy weights like that. I'm doing better now, but I'm kind of warming back up to it. But uh, that would be my advice. If you're trying to cut, add more protein in your diet if you're, if you're not having a lot of protein right now. And cut down your carbs and uh, see where that gets you yep so that was there for that and uh, let's see the next thing we're working on here oh yeah cutting out the crap okay you got your TDE calculator figured out you know download my fitness pal app on your phone it lets you track all of your food uh, you know like like what you eat it tells you all the nutrition you can look up how much carbs and stuff is in something before you eat it and it, it's, it's great it's a great way to keep track of your your calories and all that that's what i use it's what a lot of bodybuilders and conscious people use definitely check it out it's free it's good stuff but seriously cut out the crap stop drinking soda every day even juice it's got a lot of sugars in it you know it compounds stuff like sugars and stuff it's just not necessary a lot of carbs a lot of empty calories in it and high intensity fasted cardio okay uh in the morning when i first started cutting Empty stomach, first thing in the morning, you know, all digested, go for a run because you're gonna get that, you need, you need to burn your energy from somewhere. And if you got nothing in your stomach, it's gonna come from your fat storage, okay? That's just basic biology. That's why I do my run at the end of my workout when I'm, when I'm, you know, I've lost a lot of energy and I may have, may not have all that breakfast left in my stomach, it's gonna get that from somewhere else. So increase cardio, you know, high intensity cardio. Walking three miles in the treadmill is not going to be the same as running or jogging for 10 to 15 minutes, okay? You need to get your heart rate up. You need to get your blood pumping. You need to feel like you're using yourself, like you're wearing out, you know? You can't just walk for 50 billion years and think you're doing something because you need to elevate your heart rate to start burning those fats, all right? 
Let's move on because I feel like I'm running out of time here. How much time I got left? I got a lot of time. Anyway, so that that's that uh, for losing weight. Um, and last thing is, now guys, don't be afraid to start. Okay, oh don't be afraid God. to start going to the gym or start exercising or watching what you eat. Diet yeah, is going to be the hardest I'm thing. But if you can do that, you can handle going to the gym. You know, when I started going to the gym, I was 92 pounds. I was skin and bones. I was tiny. Maybe I'll even put up a picture here of what I used to look like, you know, and what I kind of look like now. But that's irrelevant because you start going with a friend. If it really bugs you, start going with a friend. You know, you guys can talk. You can socialize. This makes you focus on your exercises. But you won't feel like you're all by yourself in an uh, uninviting environment but uh you know a lot of guys worry or girls are worried that you know there's so many guys there they're bigger than you you know why do you even bother why do you start and none of those guys were born the behemoth beautiful gigantic monster zoids that they were okay they were there for day in and day out being tiny being scrawny than everyone else you know and they got there because they started somewhere you gotta get your foot in the door if you're serious about getting your life you know, heading down the fitness route and trying to look super sexy and all this stuff, you got to start, okay? You just got to bite the bullet, you know, and, and after you start going for a while, you don't even care. You don't even realize everyone else around you. You're just focusing on yourself. You're jamming out. You're feeling good, you know, and that that's what matters, yeah. you know? Like, when I started going, I was the tiniest guy there, and now, you know, once in a while, I look around, and yeah, there's these gigantic guys who I feel like I can never be that big. But, you know, I'm noticing that there are guys who were smaller than me. And they've been going and they're getting bigger, you know. And it's not about measuring yourself. Everybody's there to work on themselves because they're not happy with the way they look. Or they want to look different, you know. It's it's not some secret society where they're just there to make fun of people. You know what I mean? So just go, you know. Don't worry about anyone else. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a shit. I shouldn't say that. Nobody gives a crap about, about what they're doing. What other people are doing just go do your stuff and be chill you'll be surprised how easily you can blend in and become a wallflower in a gym everybody's listening to music and focusing on themselves nobody wants to make awkward eye contact you know so don't make it weird and for girls you know most of the time they're not oh, checking out other girls or trying to you know like size them up most of the time, they're just worried about trying to not guys look at their butt, you know? And if I could insert a video here from the buff dudes so without being copy stricken, copy, copy written, it will kind of explain, you know, the total gym creeps. Observing from a distance is a sexually aroused male who hopes to get a better look at the rare females who have dared to step off the safety of the treadmills and set foot in this harsh freeway terrain. that they're concerned about. I, I love the buff dudes, they're right guys, but you know, the, don't be afraid of the lionesses in the gym, you know, or the big honking dudes or whatever. Just start going, you'll love it. Exercise releases dopamines in the brain and it's natural. And before you know it, you'll, you'll be sad when you can't go to the gym and it makes you feel really good and just changes your whole perspective on the day. But anyway, guys, that's that's all we're going to talk about for now. I just want to touch on some topics you guys are asking about, go into depth about some stuff. If you have any more questions, please comment below. Don't feel free to comment. I love talking about this stuff. Uh, if you want to know about things in particular, feel free to comment. And um, if you want to know more in depth scientifically and all this stuff, the guys who I learned a lot of really high quality information from are the Buff Dudes and Athlean X. There will be links in the description below for them. These guys are really great. Uh, they know what they're talking about they will make you a chiseled Greek god if you just you know take what they're what they're saying to heart i am not a professional in any way i'm just talking about my opinion what's worked for me what hasn't what i've seen work for people and uh take it with a grain of salt so i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video and as always everybody have fun out there Bye.